here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and brush this hair down and I'm gonna use two of the different tools to create the finish that I need here. Now, as I'm going with the direction of the hair, I can kind of see where we need to do some work. Then I'm gonna go 90 degrees and you can see where it lifts that hair up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come in with the metal stone and I'm gonna take just the tips. And I don't wanna to try to fix this completely in one session. I just wanna do one time each week. I'll do this like on a Thursday and then next week I'll do it on a Thursday again. And I'm just taking the little hairs that are sticking up. Then I'm gonna brush this back down again and you'll see that that's starting to lay nicer. After about four to six weeks, we'll have lots of layers coming in and this will lay down perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my finishing tool in a right hand or a left hand. You can see that it has a deeper cut here and not as deep a cut on this side. So this is my medium side, this is my fine side, and then it has a tip right there too. So what I'm gonna do is I always start off with a medium and I'm going to just pull this through like, a, like I have a squeegee and I'm trying to work the water off. And what this is doing is this is allowing me to get the longest hairs and do my finish work. And I'm gonna take this coat and all the hair blending this way into this neck. I don't want it to stick up like this with length of hair. I want it to get to the point where it's just a beautiful line right there. And because of this tip and the way this tool is designed, I'm allowed to, it allows me to get into really tight, difficult areas compared to some of the other tools in the market. And it's going to allow me to put a finish on this dog that looks so natural and so beautiful. And you can see all I'm getting is this stuff. I'm not cutting any of the guard hairs. And then now watch what happens as I brush this down. See how that's starting to lay down nicer now? Now I could do this in one session if I wanted to, but I don't want to because I want to create layers. I want to, I want to have, like, let's say I groom on this for 20 weeks. That means I'm going to have 20 weeks of hair underneath here. So the judges are going to feel beautiful density. And also we won't have to worry about any coat blowing. And each time I go to this show, I'm just taking off that top layer. And now I've got 19 more layers underneath that. So this dog is gonna be in pristine shape where everybody else has been using thinning shears and now they only have one layer on that. Now, a little secret to this part here. The first thing I want you to kind of notice here is that when we take our comb and we divide this dog in half, wherever this comes out should be your furthest point sticking out. So when you look at that, that actually needs to come up just a little bit. A lot of people will take their clippers and they'll say, okay, two fingers above this, start your clipper work, but don't do that. Take your dog, divide your dog in half, and wherever this furthest point sticking out is, that should be where your pro sternum is. This should be where the hair is the furthest forward. So to do that, go ahead and stand. The best way to do that is I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to pull everything over to one side like this. Now when I do this, you're going to see that there's short hair here, longer hair here, and longer hair there. But what I want to do is I want to take all this hair and I'm going to take my longest hairs and just pull those out. You can use thinning shears for some breeds. I like to do the metal stone to start off if I don't have profuse hair, since so it's just got a little bit here. And eventually you're gonna to start to create a straight line right here. And when we make this line perfectly straight and then take our comb and comb this down, this is magically gonna put our pro sternum right where it needs to be that's gonna be your furthest point sticking out. So there's no guesswork there anymore. And you don't have to do all this stuff with fingers and fingers and fingers. And that creates balance with structure there. So here, what I wanna do now is I wanna show the angle of the shoulder. 
So to show the angle of the shoulder, brush this down, go 90 degrees here, and this stuff's in the way, so I'm going to come in with my metal stone and start to work this down. Then here, I want this chest to pop. So I'm going to take my finger, my thumb, and I'm going to take my thumb right into this spot. You'll, you can feel the prosternum here, and my thumb is going to go right into this little pocket and lift this coat up. When I lift this coat up, I'm going to, it allows me to get to these hairs that are inside that crevice. When I let go of that, what's going to happen to see how that pops, and it really defines that right there. And then, right before I call this a finished grooming session, then I'm gonna come in like this, and just take a little bit of those tips there, and blend those into my coat. Now that smooths that out. It just takes it like a hot knife and butter, but it's not cutting those guard hairs. It's just taking the undercoat out and that smooth that right into that shoulder right there. Let's go ahead and take this. I, I wouldn't do this in one session, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this for you Thanks. and get this whittled down. And I think it's just so beautiful that the way this is designed. You can see the only thing that's coming off is that undercoat. It's not touching that guard hair at all. And that's the, one of the biggest problems with other tools is you have to really be skilled to use them, otherwise it'll cut the coat. So this this is just basically just like almost like a comb. Mm -hmm. And the only difference is is as I'm combing, I'm putting my thumb here with a really super light touch, and all it's doing is grabbing those problem hairs. It's leaving all the good stuff where it needs to be. So that this is your finishing tool. You come in after you use the metal stone. Now some people will say, well, you know, why don't I just go ahead and use this tool and not use the metal stone? Well, the problem is with that is I want to use the metal stone to, to create that shape, and then I'm just using this for a finish. Let's get this right here too. Okay, so I haven't hit this yet, so I'm going to come in with my metal stone. Because the metal stone is going to grab guard hairs also, but I need that in places where this hair is starting to get too long. And then this other tool is just going to come in and grab the fine stuff. Wow, that's great. Yeah, that's yes. Now, once I got it to the point where I say, okay, this is nice, I'm going to get ready to put my final finish before I go into the ring, I'm going to flip it over to the fine side and this is going to get even finer stuff here. And that's going to give me my just absolute perfect finish. I love this. There's no way to mess this up. <laughs> Look at the new finish that you've got on that neck right here. Isn't that nice? Oh, it's pretty. And look, yeah, and this right in here. This is going to take a little while to get uh -huh. this whittled down. But you can see that it really puts a nice finish on that. This, this tool comes in right and left handed. And okay. the way you can tell is if you look at the Eric Solis uh -huh. on here, that and, be you, it. and if you have a darker side on the right side, mm -hmm. that's a right handed tool. Okay. But it, on the left-handed ones, if you look at the Eric Solis, mm -hmm. this side over here is darker okay. and it has the longer teeth. That's a left-hander tool. Okay. So, yeah, but this one obviously is universal. Yeah, you can use right or left. Right yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to whittle this down for you. Thank you. That way you can just do finish later on. Okay, so I'm going with the direction of the hair and then I'm going to go from rear to front and lift this up and we got lots of hair there. Now this is not what I would normally recommend for anybody to do, but we got to get this dog in shape quickly. So I'm going to take out more hair than I normally would in one grooming session. 
And all I'm doing is just grabbing those tips right there and whittling this down. And the reason why I would not want to do this in one session like I'm doing here is because it would be so much nicer if, like I said, this was done over 16, 18 weeks. So you're just doing a little bit at a time. And we could whittle this down so you have many layers underneath. Okay, so I'll start off with my medium side. And I'm going to start to get some of these wispies out of here. And this as a finishing tool works so good because it's not going to cut those guard hairs. All I'm doing is getting these little wispies that are sticking out. And that's the stuff that's creating all the problems. These brushes are really nice. You can get them at Sally's Beauty Supply and they're only like 10 bucks as opposed to spending 30 bucks for a brush. And that's just boar hair, right? Yes, ma'am. This is the boar hair brush and this is the boar nylon. Okay, I have a small one. Somewhere up there. Is that true? Nope. Nope. Okay, right here. okay hold that. So now I'm using more of the tip because mm -hmm. these areas are a little harder to get to. And I'm just taking the tips of those little, and you can see those little wispies just coming right out. Okay, now this is really thick here, so I'm gonna start working this out and blend this into the shoulder. This tool will definitely cut your time in half if you're having to get a big job done really quickly. Like somebody brings you a dog and says, oh, I need this ready for the ring in an hour. <laughs> in this breed, normally you're doing lots of stripping anyway. Now one little secret that I use or a little tip that I use when I'm doing something like this is I use my knuckles as a guide. Oh, so okay. I have my tool in my hand my knuckles are like this, dog, yeah. right? And then what it'll do is I can change my elevation from the dog. So just kind of like rotate yeah. my hand like this yeah. a little bit. So if I want it higher, like if you're working on a breed where it's not so close to the skin, I can use my knuckles for that. Mm -hmm. Or I can rotate my knuckles so I can get it down more consistent like this. And that way I'm not making holes. I'm using my knuckles as a guide and the only hairs I'm grabbing are the ones that are sticking up like that, at that elevation. And if I need to, I can come in tighter and start to work these out. And see how that's blending in there now? Yep. Get a little more bulk for you right here. That's really laying down nice now. Yep. And so all you have to do, if you've got a couple of weeks before the mm -hmm. show, is just keep going over that where I made your shape for you, and you'll blend that in, and it'll look like it naturally grows like that. Okay. Then I'm gonna clean this up for you here too. Okay, so I have a shoulder here. Yeah. The cup lays back in here. So to take any guesswork out of that, I'm going to brush this down. I'm going to go 90 degrees. Oh dear. And that's going to show you everything that needs to come out. So I'm just going to take the tips. Where people create a problem is they go in there and try to go in really deep and just pull hair. But I'm just taking just the tips. And then when I brush this down, look at how that angle of that shoulder is starting. So we clean this up. So now, as I go in like this, 90 degrees again, and I'm gonna take just the tips.
And you can use this technique on so many different dogs. I mean, it's just, it's all the same look right there. But I'm creating a nice, right. there's no holes right here. This elevation is going to match that elevation. And when I do that and I brush this down, then you're going to see a nice, beautiful shoulder right here. But if you try to do it like most people do yeah. with other tools, is you're going to have a high spot, a hole, a high spot, a hole, yeah. and you don't want that. You want smooth transitions. Okay, so now I'll bring this over and I'm going to use my finishing tool on the medium side and I'm going to take out those wispies that are underneath. So those beautiful guard hairs will just be nice and smooth. And the other thing too about a lot of the tools is you can tell when the dogs are objecting to some of these tools that you use. Okay, so I'll bring this in. And still a little bit more work that needs to be done there, but that's yeah. smooth. It's starting to yeah. take that shape. And then we're gonna let some hair grow in here. Mm -hmm. And that'll be a nice smooth transition. Want me to show you that trick again in here? Yeah. Okay. So I find where my pro sternum is at, and I stick my thumb right next to that. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my thumb and lift Pull that up. up. Yeah. And so now my pro sternum is still really right there, but right below my thumb, You're I'm gonna pulling take pulling that hair out. And I'll pull that in towards the center line of the dog. And when I let go of that, what that's gonna do, it's gonna make, pop. It's gonna make that pop. So now that's going to show that pro sternum good. It's going to show the angle of the shoulder good. And it, and it looks like it naturally grows that way. Wow, that's mm -hmm. nice. I'm going to get right up in here, clean this up for you. Well, I never knew what to do with that. I'll yeah. Tell you. And it makes it so easy because now there's no guesswork. You no. brush it in the direction of where the way it grows, go 90 degrees, mm -hmm. and that shows you every hair that needs to come out. And then that'll lay down perfectly smooth. Then I'll come in with my finishing tool. And we're not scratching the skin. You know, it's, it's just the tools doing all the, the final work that we need to do. Okay, and after I do that, I'm gonna flip over to the fine side. Whittle that down just a little bit more. That's just getting beautiful. I know, thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now you can use these also for blending into these ears, so there's no distinction. I don't really like to see where you know, like you clipper got clipper blades, mark, yeah. clipper blade marks in there. Mm -hmm. So if I come in with my over my leathers and with a real light thumb, I'm going to use my metal stone first. And then I'm going to come in with the medium very lightly almost again just more like a comb then I'll come in with my fine and then when I take my brush in here you can't see it you can't even see where mm -hmm. the short hair ends and the long hair starts it just makes a really nice smooth transition all right baby oh, but. yeah okay what oh Another cool place. Okay, let's get you to stand for a second. 
All right. So a lot of people have problems with these furnishings. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the direction of the hair. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to come 90 degrees. Yep. And I'm going to take this metal stone and take just my tips. And then it didn't even come out with any Yep. And like I said, the 90 degree trick just really covers that. Now, just like I did on that ear, mm -hmm. if I'm right handed, I'm looking at the Eric Solace. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to blend this into the longer hairs. Springers, setters, I mean, English cockers, any of those breeds there where I'm going into mm -hmm. from short hair to long hair. I'm just taking all this junk that's going into this transition to the longer hair. Is that, Eric, is that junk? Yep. Okay. And then, so when this dog moves, the judge is not going to see flip, flip, flip. Not. Okay, so now, if this is a right-handed tool, I'm going to not see the Eric Solis okay. part. And I'm going to fine-tune this stuff here that's unsightly. And that's going to blend this in towards the center line of that back leg or that front leg here. Now look at how nice that yeah. wraps around. Yeah. That looks like it naturally grows that way. Whew. That give me boost gums. That's good. Yeah. I'm going to do that here now. I love these new tools. Fine side. I'm gonna brush this back. Wow, that looks gorgeous yeah. right there. And you just keep doing that every single week. And you're gonna do that back with this stuff too, because here you can see a distinct transition. Yes. So you'll come in first. Now, people are going to have one tendency to do all this from up here. You can do a little bit of that, but what I really want to do is I want to come in from the bottom and take these longer hairs. And I'm only going to take a couple, and that's going to get new hairs coming in. He's only got a couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just will get there. So then now, I want this to be a smoother transition. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with my medium side. Mm -hmm. And it's almost just like a comb. I'm taking from that short to the long and I'm going to smooth out that transition right there. Brush this down. Wow, that looks so much nicer. And now I'm going to take the meat, the fine side, just like a comb, and I'm going to blend this short into that longer coat. See how that just yeah. looks like it naturally goes that way? Okay, so get a shot of this right here. Get a shot of this right here. And then let's look at this side. So you see that right there. Mm -hmm. And then look at how this sticks out right there. And what I want to do is I want to blend this hair, blend this neck and shoulders together here so it looks like it naturally grows into this longer hair. Then I'm going to take my fine side and do the exact same thing once I work my way down. And by no means is this finished yet, but I don't want to hold you guys here and have you watch this whole video forever. <laughs> Although, how long have we been working on this dog? Not very long. An hour. An hour. Okay, so now I'm going to take this brush and you're going to see how this coat just lays nice and beautiful. 
and you see the angle of the shoulder and it's going into the feathering here and also here i'm going to fix this little spot right here so i'm going to take this leg and the first thing i want to do is bring this 90 degrees in the direction where it grows i'm going to take the metal stone and take just tips the tendency is to want to do this but don't do that because then you'll be pulling the wrong hairs then i'm going to go ahead and brush in the direction of the way the hair grows and I want to get rid of this so it looks like it naturally blends into that leg. So remember, start off looking at the logo, Eric Solace, and just like a comb, I'm just kind of running this through, going towards the center line of this leg. Then I'm going to take the other side so I'm not looking at the logo. Oh, there you go. And again, towards the center line of that leg. And this is gonna make the best transitions you could possibly imagine. And I'll brush this. Ah, 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 ah. And that makes this look nice and natural. Like it just blends right into that leg right there. Perfect transitions. Show you another trick here. You can see where the hair from the short part goes into the longer part of the ears. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just like take my knuckles to create an elevation that I'm comfortable with. I can lower this down, raise this up, but I'm gonna drag my knuckles across like this. And as I'm dragging my knuckles, I'm gonna take just the tips of these hairs that are sticking up. Then I'm going to come in again, look at the logo first. And just like a comb, I'm going to comb these hairs to blend the short hair into the long hair, but make a transition that's so smooth it looks like it naturally grows like that. Then I flip it over so I look at the non logo side. You want to see too, huh? And this is my fine tune. The tools do all the work. Look at that. Mm. It looks like it. You can't tell where the short hair ends and the long hair starts. Now that is a beautiful finish right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the other side. So here you can see where all that hair is sticking up like that. And I actually did work on this side too, so that's a little bit better than before. And then let's pop back over. You can see all this hair, all this stuff in here. You can't really see the angle of the shoulder right there. And now let's go back and look at the other side again. So now you can see how smooth and how that lays into the shoulder. And it really didn't take a lot of effort to do that. Um, because the tool is designed to find all the hairs that need to come out. All right. Cut. You like that?